You've probably seen my previous video where I did the comparison of performance visual scripting versus C Sharp, and I didn't stop there in research. So to figure out the best way to use visual scripting, I decided to create my own nodes using C Sharp. You've probably seen before that I created a collection of units, and for that I use super units, or they're now called subgraphs. But the nodes that I was going to create here is actually with C Sharp. So following their documentations, I want to see if I can recreate some of these nodes and figuring out the best way of using a visual scripting. So right here at the top for the for loop, I was able to achieve 20 times faster for loop than the visual scripting. I know the reason behind this, but I'm not going to go and explain why that is a, such an improvement. But if we take a look at here, you don't see that much of improvement. It's not even three times faster. And most of the times actually saved because I used my own for loop instead of the pre-built for loop. But if we take a look at right here, the poly noise, there is a significant increase in performance. I was able to make it six times faster. And that is probably because Visual Scripting is actually using call to C Sharp to create this poly noise. And that's the one second uh, loss that we see here. Same thing for the random. You can see that it's actually one second and it's because it's using call to C sharp. And for my version, I was able to run it at 14 seconds. But for the variables, I have not changed anything there, just used my for loop instead. So there's no significant change there. Same thing for the if statement. And now when we take a look at the call to C sharp, for this one, I just created an empty node that was just calling C sharp inside it. So instead of using the nodes that are created automatically for all of your code, I actually created a note that was specifically accessing that C sharp file. And there is a 10 times improvement there. So if it takes 0 0.07 seconds to run an empty node, where I think we see the increase in uh, these numbers for the addition and multiplication is actually the amount of values you pass in for that note. So an add note, it actually takes two value inputs. And those value inputs are actually called each time you run the addition node. And same thing with a multiplication. And that's why they're almost identical in time. For the parallel noise, there is also two inputs. And for the random, also two inputs. Set graph variable uses two inputs as well. Set object variable uses three inputs. And that's why it's slower than the set graph variable. So just looking at that, the more value inputs that you have and the more connections that you run, your game's going to be actually running slower. Judging from this, there isn't much improvement you can do if you're using the standard low level units that are provided in there. But it does give me an idea that if you create more complex nodes that will be doing a lot of things on the C sharp site, you can actually improve the performance of your game by quite a bit. So that's what I'm thinking for improving the visual scripting units collection that I have. I actually want to try and recreating these units with C Sharp. I'm actually creating a visual scripting nodes. Not entirely sure the route that I'm going to take, but that is what I'm thinking based on the research that I did about the performance, because it's pretty important if you're trying to create a game that it's actually going to be working as fast as possible with the ability of actually programming it with visual scripting. So this is just a quick update on my discoveries and where I am at right now. Hopefully you found this video useful. Be sure to click on that like button if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.